Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at B Miner, which is some mining software available for NVIDIA GPUs, and you can use it to mine all of your Equihash coins. So coins such as Zcash or Bitcoin Gold, and the other sort of uh, derivatives such as uh, Z Classic and also Zen Cash is uh, another one. So B Miner, an NVIDIA miner, and uh, hopefully you should get some improved performance. Today I'm just going to quick look at the DTSM or DSTM uh, miner. Uh, I'll compare that first and just show you what hash rate I'm getting with that, and then I'll compare it to the B miner so you can see what kind of performance improvements you can get when using it for yourself. So I'm going to be using this on my worker free machine, mostly I use it for mining burst coin. But inside that machine, I have a 1050 Ti and I also have a GTX uh, 970. So this miner is uh, for Pascal and uh, Maxwell cards, so the 10 series cards and the 900 series cards. Um, if we have a look on the screen, we'll start off with the B Miner website. So the official website is at bminer.me. Um, but if you want download links for this miner, including the, all the sample files, etc., um, I'll put those uh, links in the, the description, and that'll help you to get um, started a little bit more easier when uh, coming to mining. So you can see the official site, and these are the kind of the performance characteristics that you can hope to be getting. So uh, 735 souls a second on a 1080 Ti. Uh, 450 on a 1070 and 300 on a 1060. I'll share my results with you in just a second. We'll be able to see it on the uh, other machine. And like I say, uh, just very quickly, I'm just going to compare it to the DSTM miner, which is previously the, one of the most popular um, Equihash miners up until this point. So if I go over to the other machine, which is the worker free machine, and at the moment we're running the, the I keep forgetting the name, it's uh, it's uh, frustrating, sorry. A DSTM, sometimes I get it, call it DTSM. It doesn't matter, so the other alternative miner, DSTM miner, uh, currently getting me around 100, uh, sorry, 420 souls per second. Um, you can see the average is coming there uh, a little bit slower now. I've left it running for quite a bit, the previous miner. So on average, it's reporting 411, 411. Also with the older uh, generation miner, the D, God, DSTM, sorry. Uh, it also has a web interface, which I've turned on just to show you some um, characteristics of that miner. So you can see at the top, we've collected, uh, connected to the local, uh, the loopback port, and it provides some information back to us. But here you can see it's been running for uh, 50 minutes on the old miner, and we've got an average of 411 souls per second. Like I say, this machine has a GTX 970 and a 1050i. Um, the clock speeds are not um, optimized. I've just left them as what I was using. I was previously mining uh, Bulwark, which is a NIST 5 um, algorithm. So I'll show you the clock speeds um, later, but um, the point that I want to get is that you can probably get some extra improvements um, over this. So these are just my kind of base results. So you'll probably be able to get some um, slightly better results. So moving on to the B miner, just to show you, first of all, it also has a web API interface and it looks like this. So you can see uh, the temperatures of your GPUs and you can also see the hash rate um, over time. And it gives you like a 30 minute update. So now let's take a look at the configuration of the mining software. I'll show you how to set it up and how to get started with it. Just close the old miner there. And sorry, it might be a little bit laggy on the on-screen interface just where I'm remoted into this uh, machine. So you can download using my link and you'll end up with a zip file and then you can extract that zip file and you should have a folder like this. So the current version that I'm using is 5.4. And inside you'll see a couple of files. Um, I think originally it was four files, but I've added an extra one. The bin, I believe that uh, starts when you first use the miner. I think it extracts um, a file for uh, your GPUs. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and inside you're going to see some batch files, which these files here. Um, I'll include a, um, a few different ones for you to help you get started with the miner. 
But just to show you the configuration for mining Zcash on the Supernova pool, I'll show you how that is done. So if you right click and edit it, I would have showed you guys a lot of Zcash mining videos before on Supernova, so this might be the easiest um, option for you, uh, particularly if you mine any other um, coins on Supernova because you'll be familiar, familiar with your username and worker name um, as a login to the pool. I'm just going to open up that batch file again. So this is the basic configuration for the uh, B miner, and I'll just break down each uh, section for you. So we have the miner program, B miner, and then we have the call to the URL. It's a stratum address. And then this is the URL um, kind of formatting. So if you want to use this for, like I say, specifically for using it with Supernova, this is how you're going to want to have it. So the first part is your username at Supernova. Then there's a period or full stop. Then you have your worker name. Then there is a colon. And then this pi here, X, it, that is the worker password. Then we have an app. And then we have the URL, another colon, and then the pool that you're mining at. The second part here is optional. That is the API which gives you the local web interface and it will show you your results in a local web window. Um, it's up to you whether you want to add that or not. If I go back to the uh, official website, which is bminer.me, you've got some sample usages. So if you're mining on another pool or wish to mine on another pool, uh, either directly with your Zcash address or you want to use a, a different pool or you want to mine, um, this is the formatting that you can use for it. Like I say, I'll include some samples uh, for you. But if you go to bminer.me forward slash examples, you can see all the different types of formatting down there. And it's pretty much, it's pretty well covered. It's got lots of different um, options for many different pools and coins. So you should be able to get started with that quite quickly if my sample available, uh, the sample files I provide for you um, are not appropriate. Just going back to the local machine now. So once you've added in your configuration settings, you want to go to File and you want to Save As. Again, sorry about the delay again. Um, and then you want to enter a file name. So we've got cgash-supernova. Then you want to Save As File Type. You want to go to All Files and you want to save it as a .bat and then click on save. In this case, we're just going to overwrite the same file. We can close that. And now I'm just going to start that and let it run just for a little bit. Just to show you the beam on it does come with a, a basic configuration file. So I'll just show you what's inside there. But depending on what pool you're mining on, you might find it um, easier to use this. So at the top, you've basically got these uh, configuration parts. So where it says set address, you can enter your Zcash address here. And then you can um, enter your uh, username for the pool and also your uh, pool address details. So essentially you can kind of add in your details up here rather than in a, in a line. Personally, I prefer to add it uh, in the way I just showed you in the previous uh, configuration file. I just this is supposed to make it easier, but I think it adds more confusion because of the formatting with the um, uh, percentage symbols and stuff, the way it's um, like remarked. So you guys probably want to just use uh, uh, an inline configuration file like I just uh, showed you previously. Um, it's, I believe it's um, simpler for you to understand, and it's also simpler for me to uh, uh, explain it. Uh, but that is included anyway, should you wish to use it. Uh, for example, if you're already mining at Nanopool, um, you can just add in your Zcash address and you're off you go. Closing that and then taking a look at the uh, B miner now. So you can see we've received a few of our first uh, jobs. The hash rate is uh, picking up. It's a little bit low at the moment so I'm just going to let it run for a little bit longer. If we just go to the very top as well you can kind of see the startup. So it's got the, uh, the pool address, etc. And uh, I thought it showed 
Mm, I thought it just gave you the device names, but it just says it's mining on devices 0 and 1. Um, it doesn't tell you um, in this part which which device is which. But from memory, I think uh, device 0 is the uh, GTX 970 and 1 is the, the 1050Ti. Just while that's uh, picking up um, some extra shares and getting some work, minimize it. I'll just show you the uh, clock speeds that I'm using. Uh, and like I say, this is um, not a optimized configuration. I'm really just using it from a previous miner that was mining a uh, bulwark uh, with this. So for the 970, I've got a power limit set to uh, at 60%, so it's a reduction of the power limit. The core clock is set to minus 200 and the memory clock is left uh, as it is. And I'll show you the options for the 1050 Ti. Um, again, not optimized for this, but I'm just showing you like a baseline result between the different miners. Mm -hmm. So we've got the power limit set at 80%. The core clock is uh, zero or unchanged should I say, uh, but the memory clock is plus 500. So you wanna um, adjust these figures um, and see what results you get for yourself. It has been an extra couple of minutes. So the total accepted shares now, sorry, the uh, hash rate is now up to just under 400 or just over 424 souls per second. So that's about where it was uh, previously when I tested it. Uh, if I go back to the web interface now, we should hopefully be able to see these updated results. So like I say, with that API um, extension in your configuration file, all you need to do is go to your web browser and open up this address here. And all it does is open up basically like a direct connection to the mining interface. Um, I don't know if that's because I just refreshed it or not. Okay, yeah, so the total runtime is six minutes. Uh, hash rate is 425. There is a power usage there, but uh, it's only counting one of the GPUs, not both of them. Um, so you have to disregard that. Uh, further down, we've got some details. It shows you each one of your GPUs. So depending on what model of GPU and also your drivers will determine uh, whether it reports your, um, your power limit, etc. So it also shows your temperature. So we can see device zero, which is the 970, is run at 64 degrees using 119 watts and 232 souls per second. And GP1, which was a 1050Ti, doesn't report a power usage, but it does report a speed, which is 192. So for a combined, yeah, just under 425 souls per second. So between sort of 10 and 15 souls per second faster overall than the DTSM minor. So um, a very slight performance increase, but an increase is always uh, good. Uh, one thing I can't uh, show you, um, I would like to, I'll have to do a follow up, is um, I like to compare the, um, the CPU usage and power usage uh, with this minor pr compared to the, the other minor. But I think, and I can't confirm it because of the way I've got the, um, the powers and everything plugged in, but I think power usage overall is going to be very much um, the same. So I think by using this miner, you should be able to get yourself a little tiny uh, extra bit of performance. And um, hopefully that is uh, useful to you. Okay, so that's it for this video. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you didn't like it or there was something missing, then please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions um, or comments that you'd like to add, um, I'm always um, open to discussion with you guys. I love uh, interacting with you guys, even when I'm right, wrong, or otherwise. It's always great to, um, to hear your, your opinions. So if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I do put this type of content on a regular basis, and it's great to share with you and have you as part of our little community that we're growing here. So till the next video, thanks for watching.